To see the world in a grain of sand, and heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and eternity in an hour. It is small things that speak most closely to us. Things to hold in the hand, touch with the fingers, caress with the mind. Diamonds are small things. Amidst the violence of creation, they were born. In the molten center of the new world, mountains moved, seabed sank, and continents erupted. A thousand million years of onslaught which could not destroy or change them. The earth cooled and a thousand centuries of rain shaped the surface. Primitive life fought for survival. And the diamonds remained. Perishable, unearthly, brilliant, mystical, the hardest substance in the known universe. And while other gemstones could be cut and polished to greater brilliance, the uncut diamond was the most prized and potent talisman against untold evil houses. But in the early years of the Mughal Empire, the jewelers of the Great Mughal discovered that diamond could cut diamond and polish diamond. This knowledge created the Koh i Noor, a gem of such dazzling brilliance that it guarded India for 300 years. Every diamond is unique, individual, a thing in itself. And the cutter will examine it for hours, sometimes days, before he decides how best to shape it into a polished stone. When he has made the decision, he marks it for sewing. and a disc of phosphor bronze coated with diamond dust will slowly eat through diamond cutting diamond. Another technique can be used to shape the stone, but if mishandled, a technique that destroys it forever. A diamond is a crystal, and when the surface has been nicked by another diamond, a blow on a steel blade will cleave it down the grain. Difficult to judge, dangerous to perform, impossible to repeat. Then, slowly, painstakingly, thoroughly, with accuracy, skill and dedication, facet after facet is polished onto the surface of the stone. Diamond dust bites into diamond stone, and with tortuous concentration, a gemstone is created.
time immemorial, men have believed that whoever wore a diamond was clothed in supernatural powers of strength and fidelity. Time has not changed this belief. And time has not changed the craft of the jeweler. Techniques are different, but the striving for beauty transcends technique. Yeah. 